Well, even though the Earth is warming rapidly and we're seeing more disasters each year, we can still take action on climate change. That is the message that the United Nations Development Program is trying to convey in a very creative fashion with the first ever film made inside the UN General Assembly. You're not used to seeing these characters walk up to the podium. And they chose a speaker who knows a thing or two about the consequences of a crisis. You okay? You need a minute? Cool. Okay. <clears throat> Listen up, people. I know a thing or two about extinction. And let me tell you, and you'd kind of think this would be obvious, going extinct is a bad thing. And driving yourselves extinct? In 70 million years, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Well, that English-speaking dinosaur might have sounded a lot like American actor Jack Black. There's a Danish dinosaur wandering around the UNGA, too. And that one sounds a lot like Game of Thrones star Nikolai Koster Valdau. He's a UN Goodwill ambassador, and Nikolai Koster Valdau joins me now live. He is in Copenhagen. Thanks for being with us. So why, why did you collaborate on this project? I imagine it was a fun one. It was a fun one, and I, I think it was uh, it was a, a big uh, step for the UN uh, to to try something revolutionary as a, as a sense of humor when it comes to mm -hmm. something so so serious. But what's been first of all, we've had these amazing people create this this dinosaur, this whole movie. But but what's been interesting to see is that it, people have really responded to it, and and that's all we wanted. We wanted to connect with people in a in a fun way. So you know, if you laugh a little, you can you know, your shoulders, you lower the shoulders, and you you're ready to engage in a different way. And that's what this what? is about, because because oh, yeah. at the yes. core of this, of course, yes. as you said, is is climate change. And the fact that the the dinosaur talks about is that we all know that the the, the biggest threat is, is the burning of, of fossil fuels. And, and the fact, I didn't know that, I don't think many people knew that, that we are subsidizing the fossil fuel industry with $425 billion a year. That's a, that's a sizable chunk of money that maybe we should at least discuss if we could use that in a better way. And, and talk to me about the feedback, because you mentioned feedback, and uh, young people seem pretty aware, compared to older generations, of the, 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 the dangers of, of, of a warming planet. Who, what have you received? What have you heard back from, from, uh, from this film, whether in, in Denmark or elsewhere, actually? Well, what's so cool about the film is that, you know, don'tchooseextinction.com is then, it encourages people to go to, to this website that is set up, which mm -hmm. is an amazing website. And it has a lot of information. It also has a thing called uh, the Global Mind Pool, uh, which is also a separate website, globalmindpool.com, which I encourage everyone to go check out, which is what well, the ambition is for us to reach as many as possible all over the world. So this is a campaign that starts now, but it's gonna continue. So it's basically mm -hmm. tr trying to see if we can use all of us, all of our collective intelligence to then have the UNDP gather all this information that people will send in from all over the world, all this data, and then be able to pass that on to, to policymakers. Um, mm -hmm. Because if there's mm -hmm. one thing our policymakers do respect at the end of the day, it's the voter, and that's, that's us. And well, how did it, how did the project, I wonder, I mean, how did you, did you have to go into, I mean, obviously a recording booth, is this sort of like tracking over an animated film, or, or have, have, you, have you dubbed a dinosaur before? <laughs> I have never dubbed a dinosaur before. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, it, it, what's been amazing about this, it's, it's a lot of people came together. A lot of people, of course, we have one of the greatest visual effects houses in Hollywood who stepped up to, I mean, it's not a, it's very expensive to create this dinosaur, but they did an amazing way. Of course, the UN allowed us to film inside the, uh, the General Assembly, which is amazing. Yeah. But it, it's uh, yeah. one of the, the points of this movie, of course, it's a dinosaur and it speaks in every language. It, I think it's stopped already to 30 plus languages. The point, of course, is that this is a global thing. It's a global threat that, that we're facing and we're all in this together. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I mean, looking forward, I'm sure you've been following COP26 uh, and what's been discussed there. I wonder if you found that encouraging or if you were disappointed. What, what, what's your takeaway so far? I think that by the nature of things, we're always going to be disappointed because also the rhetoric building up to the cops is always that if, if we don't solve everything now, we're screwed. So we, and we kind of know, and also the media knows that we're not going to solve all the issues now. So it's going to be the buildup is insane. And of course, the disappointment is insane. I think steps are being taken in the right direction. We need to, to, to move much faster. We have to, to, to keep, that's why we want to have this campaign being an ongoing campaign. We've got to keep the pressure on the politicians and help them make the right decisions. Because because no, uh, I, you know, COP is not over, but we know that at the end of the day, some progress will have been made, not enough. But yeah. what I have yeah. felt though, over the, what I think we all felt, especially here in Europe, with this last year, where suddenly climate change was no longer a theoretical thing. You saw yeah. the horrific wildfires yeah. in Europe, you saw the flooding in Germany, it hit home in a different way. And I think that the populations, the people are really willing and ready for action. Yeah, I, I, I completely agree. We're, we're basically experiencing the effects of it and it really changes, I think, the conversation and the sense of urgency. Thanks so much, Nikolai Koster-Valdau, for joining us. Really appreciate it, live uh, in Copenhagen with us. Thank you for joining my, me in my kitchen. Thank you. All right. It was a pleasure. Now to the latest.